Um, Cause okay. like, let's see. Go ahead. So I'm th- I'm thinking during the dance, like demo shout's gonna fall off anyway. Um. Yeah. Expose sunder. There's those are gonna fall off. Like uh, low feb. A lot of this stuff is gonna fall off anyway. Uh, hey, so, when you get to here, stop and look this way. Okay, so we have this bridge. I'm gonna look. Dramatic turn. I mean, it's not that dramatic. There's just a ton of stuff that we get to skip. Here's uh, all the trash in the zone that we don't have to do. Take a look at the map but and see what that is. Oh, I see. Okay. It loops back to military. It loops back to basically yeah, four horsemen. Yeah, yeah. That, that, However, that. here's the issue. Um, in this hallway is all of the are all of the frozen runes that we need that like, like for this, this wing this whole bottom part of no of just plague. this this just this the, plague hallway just the plague side okay all plague ones spawn in this hallway okay just the, the okay. or most of them. i think there's okay. a couple that don't so what what are these what is this trash and in, in but here's the other plague. problem if i drop down here i can't get back up there is oh, no way to get okay, back. Okay, dude. Okay, right. Right. It's just a ledge. Yeah. Like, I can get back down, or I can get back in this version, because... Oh, I can't. Test this out. While you're up there, use ranged on a mob and aggro it, and see if it will pursue you, or right. if it will evade off. Because if it pursues, then there's a way up here. I don't even pursue. know if I can rate if I can hit them. They're, they don't get close enough. <laughs> I can't oh, hit them. <laughs> I almost got... Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, I think I can get them with the blizzard. So what you want to find out is if they just evade, that's not too useful. But if they pursue, then I can hunter shoot them, make a massive train while someone goes and gathers up all the runes, and then feign before they get to me. Oh, right. yeah. We call that I think style. what we'll have to do and then like summon oh, them I back up that. if we do it. <laughs> like to get them back out well i could also do stuff like eyes my best, oh pet him off and sprint him through the mess um like there's a lot of stuff we can do with just two or three people well I so okay louis if you want to take a couple of minutes there is a way out and i'll show i can show it to you but right, let's see if you can aggro these oh, oh i got one, you I did got get one, one. And they, all right they see. did follow they are pursuing no, don't die don't okay all right so back up, like back up over here and see what they do. They are Shooting stuff at me, but they're not like, evading I, though. I, I did get evades while I was ice lancing, but I some of yeah, them they're evading right now. Or, or no, the blizzard went through. I don't know if any of the ice lances. Yeah, they're actually. they're evaded to shadow bolt right now. So that yeah, so you may be able to pull them with an AOE, like a volley or, or some sort of. So here, I'm right, gonna go. I'm gonna yeah, make no, no, the front. No, that's fine. Since there's no trash for low them, we can use like the trash part of the video for this. All right, let's do it. All of this trash, I think, is in other places of the instance too. Like, I don't think any of it's unique to here. Okay. Right. It's it's plague beasts and ghouls and gargoyles again. There are stealth mobs in here, like where we are, giant uh, ghosts. But they don't aggro to us, so they're not okay. easy to find. So, so the giant, the giant ghosts I read about them, they they do the like, they do like a big shadow volley. But um, can we interrupt it? I don't know. You're not going to find out that they're on you until they're on you. Yep. And then it's like, a, oh, everybody switched to this. There's, There's one. one. All right, let's take a look at what he's trying to do here. Something or other shade. I don't have my screen yeah, on. It's, it's a it's vigilant, vigilant shade. shade. Yeah, that's right. There's the shadow bolt volley. It's instant yeah. cast. Okay, so that's just something we deal with, I guess. Um, okay. What's there? Add on when we're pulling. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Is if they decide, hey, I want to come right. play as, as while we're fighting one, three plague beasts. Right. Everyone needs to switch, kill it immediately, and, and switch because I don't think they have a lot of health either. So down over here, I forgot this was here until I looked at the map. One, you can swim through this lava and get to Four Horsemen, assuming Four Horsemen, or assuming, uh, uh, what's his name, is dead. Yeah, uh, lava paths, you mean gothic? Yeah. 
yeah, assuming Gothic is dead, you can swim through and get to Four Horsemen and then go back that way. However, there's also this there's little Gothic. platform here. Oh, yeah, right. So you don't have to do Zo- Resuvius. You well, do. I, the doors are the doors are locked. Oh, we tested it. Oh, okay, but you, yeah, you have to do them in order. You can't skip them. Horsemen. Okay, but but so if you come down here, so I could swim through and like say I'm trapped down here. I could swim through that slime and get over to the Four Horsemen area and get out that way. Or there's this little uh, bridge, and this bridge brings us to the platform where Noth stands. Okay. <laughs> and then you can just jump back That's down. Fun. That's great. Um, also, Hyrick just said uh, it's possible that the Warlocks detect Invis might help us with the... the it might. Uh, it, it is Invis. It's not stealth, so it detect Invis would probably work. Okay. So that's a one way from Noth. So you can't go into there from Noth. You can only leave there from Noth. So the only way yeah. to get into this big hallway is after Hagen or through the After Hagen. Yep. Okay. okay. Or Arachnid. You can get it from Arachnid, too. You can switch. So oh, all right. of the Northeast. zones, all of right. them are connected. Right. It's like um, a big circle. Right. Okay. It's a giant circle. Cool. And that wall, I remember those. Still a flute on Hagen. Well, get it. Oh, I, I looked at it. It wasn't anything that I needed or that I could collect. A... Was it two grim tolls? No. <laughs> Ooh, actually, I didn't have that one. How did that look? Not great. I'd rather stay as a captain. I don't think we're going to be able to walk through the middle of this when we're yeah. relative the right we're gonna level. have to kill them but there, i mean there will be there'll be a whole pack of us at that point yeah. and looking at their health totals now what i was saying earlier is it looks like these might the maggots may also only have like 400 health 500 health yeah th- if that's the case then it's super easy i appear to have aggroed them like all of them <laughs> good let them come Where, what is happening here <laughs> Where did they all come? How did I aggro the ones at the back? I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. One of these, one of these damn wild imps back there? Yeah, right? I got a lot of them. <laughs> all right. Low with them. Low with time. Yeah. Uh, which so is, I will um, say, I will preface this by saying uh, this is one that I have tested on this version already. Uh, it is very different than the retail, than the okay, classic version. Cool. So, There's a whole different debuffs. First, I want to start it with the name fun fact that you can rearrange the letters in Lothab and it spells Healbot because this fight has very, a very uh, uh, interesting healing setup, you could say, that we that we have to really like get under control in order to uh, in order to keep the tank alive. Let's bring up the uh, abilities first. OK, I think okay. there's only two. He was designed. <laughs> you can't be a heal bot. Yep. All right, so a corrupted mind. It places a one-minute linked cooldown on all healing spells, including cleanses, dispels, and remove poisons. However, totems don't count. Okay, interesting. So cleanse, toys, po- uh, cleansing totem absolutely works. That's great. Okay, so uh, we have that, and uh, th- this ability basically boils down to. Oh, oh, each healer gets one beneficial spell cast a minute. Uh, so, like, it could be a heal or a cleanse or whatever um, per minute. And uh, so the, to keep the tank alive, we're going to have to do some craziness. Let, let's go through the rest of the abilities first. Um, the uh, Poison Aura, of only a five-yard range. Uh 12 seconds between each poison aura. That, that's where the totem is super important. Basically, yeah. it instant cleanses the, the, cat, the melee. Because melee, if, if, if we can cleanse it instantly, the melee can just stay in and not have to... Yep. Right? Okay. All right. And, and we have Inevitable Doom. He begins to cast it after two minutes into the fight. 
This claims he has 5.3 million health. Now that's what I was expecting from Nax. Yes. Okay. He has a ton of health. Okay, and so... it's because you basically do obscene amounts of damage. Oh, okay. Okay. So after two minutes, um, he starts to cast and inflicts uh, 2,500 shadow damage after 10 seconds. 100 yards every 30 seconds. Five minutes after engaging, this will be every 15 seconds. It's basically a five minute and 15 second enrage timer. Yeah, so so the, the one two minutes in is like tough, but you can you can recover from it. The one Well, I you're going to that's yeah. that's where so that's where I posted. And I think so you also posted the consumable rotation for this. That's oh, right. that's yeah, what we'll, this is for. Well, I'll, I'll bring that is to too. counter yeah. inevitable doom because yeah. you can okay. counter every one of them. All right, so up to for the five minute part, and then you're fucked. Okay, great. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, so every thirty seconds it happens. So so we we have to deal with what what is that six of them, and yeah. then the next one after that is is death. All right, decurse every thirty seconds, starting at about two seconds into the fight, Lothev removes all curses on on himself. So the warlocks just have to recurse every thirty seconds. Interesting. Instead of every five minutes. Huh. That's that's a that's a weird mechanic, but okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is. So warlocks. Uh, is also, oh. gift of oh, Arthas is considered a curse. Oh. So. So that has to reapply. That's the other part. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Fungal bloom. Uh, critical hit chance increased by fifty percent. Spell critical hit increased by sixty percent. Spells and abilities cause no threat get from environment oh it comes from the environment you can control who gets it it's a 90 second duration and they spawn once every 12 seconds uh but every time they spawn only five people can get it okay but it turns you into a powerhouse um it so, will give it will give melee a hundred percent chance to crit yeah which, yeah, <laughs> which is, which is absurd be good. all right so let's let's go to let's go to discord now all right um I think I can put my Discord on the screen. Uh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I think this is fine. All right. Um, I can't see it if that's what you're... Oh, I, I, I just put it on there now. Okay. Um, okay, so... Yep. Uh, okay, so Lotheb. This fight's consumable heavy. It is. We gotta, and, and this is why. Uh, we're learning about why right now. Uh, every attempt, we're using two to three greater shadow protection potions and bandages and whipper roots okay so below we have an we have an ordered list of when to use what to minimize the the damage taken uh we're gonna have to go through six of them correct at each time yeah and and this will we can look at the the order at the end so uh a spore will spawn every 12 seconds right from one of the four green ooze pools in the corner of the room is, is that in here already in retail oh right these vents events okay. all right cool. there's also four but i don't think there are in retail or in classic i think there's only three okay um okay one of the spores start from the corner uh once the sword starts spawning in that corner they will spawn in that corner for the entire fight oh that's important to know so but but it changes every time we engage him i believe so okay for the, from what i remember is it, it's different every time you engage which one it spawns from but once it starts spawning from that one it stays on that one for the entire fight okay okay um all right so well, well i okay that works so kill so we kill the spore probably the five players that are going to get it are going to be over there and kill correct it. unless it they have a, very little health they have little health, like, right okay they have I, like 500 i remember even even the 25 man version like being an issue where people would kill the spores like too, too quickly. quickly yeah yep so We'll be cycling through groups to ensure that seven out of eight groups uh, will have the buff. More than likely, we'll be do doing groups two through eight getting the buff. Ooh. Because the tanks nice. don't want them. Right. Increase buff frequency. Oh, because it has zero threat generator. Right. Right. Tanks don't want it. Okay. Uh, tanks. One tank. Tank to boss in the middle of the room. <laughs> be prepared to fuck her. <laughs> yep. Stick your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. That's a, that's the strat for El Primo. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. 
um yeah pretty much yeah like this is you just gotta hope that the healers the healers keep you up uh it's so the dps so you get your spore buff when your group is called we'll just we'll just do it in order probably unless we want like unless you want to do like we so may prioritize melee melee powerhouses we'll in, in the first couple groups yeah yeah agreed okay. it's gonna depend on threat i think oh. mages critting like that gets, oh that's true for say night oh, oh night so mages probably oh, want to go first call. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's so, true. I didn't so think about so that. Get it, get it. Follow the fire mages, um, and which should be everyone, right? Unless we have the one for yeah, like the right. one for. Um, so one. Um, this this buff is all is massive damage, but it's also that class that picks it up can no longer pull threat. Right. So think about right. your who your threat issues are. Right. Yeah, yes. I mean, so maybe we do casters, and then we do. So, See, but warriors with that buff are stupid. They're basically world buffed at that point. Well, we'll have to see just what are what are damages in general. Like, I wonder how how many of these, uh, like how how many of the um, what do we what do we call this? What's the name of the ability where we all take a bunch of shadow damage? How many impending dooms we're gonna impending get? Impending doom. Thank you. Yeah. So depend. Yeah. So like, because it might only be just a few. Um, if yeah, if we just. Stack all our mages, get a big old ignite, um, and then and then immediately give it to yeah, like powerhouse warriors, rogue, rogue warlocks are good too because of the threat reasons. Yeah, but and rogues can control late into the fight, like like after the first minute, which is when this starts happening. I don't think we have issues with warlocks pulling threat. That's the difference. Like warriors pull threat after a minute, right? Warlocks generally don't. Right. Also, warlocks aren't going to be able to life tap here. Oh, well, hold on, because they also have Shadow Ward. True, uh, they can absorb some of them, so you maybe could. It's yeah, yeah. Shadow Ward should. I I don't know how much Shadow Ward absorbs. Or it's, cool it's not a ton. I might want to think about like if you're not using every single one of your healers on the tank, maybe you have a warlock group yeah we'll, we'll, we'll warlock have to depend the tank right so so the the kind of baseline example we have in the guide here is if we have 12 healers uh so if all of our healers are on pretty much right then um then we'll be able to set a heal up for every five seconds but if that's not the case if we have say 10 healers then we need to set it up for six every six so like seconds, every seven, or se seven six or seven seconds something like that i think it well, it, if it, was, it was 10 it would be six times 10 60 seconds for yeah, yeah yeah i think six yeah so so um so we'll just have to like yeah figure that out and and just adjust our our count accordingly um and yeah so this is the thing where where yeah we load up the biggest heals we we got um we can finally use our our max rank whatnots and uh and uh before it's our turn to heal like this is one of those good fights that I think for healers to use trinkets that you can just pop like right before it's your turn to heal to increase your plus healing by a ton. Like a Zandalari hero charm. Um, that's probably any on use ability that you have. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to want to use before you heal. That will increase your healing and you just, when it's your turn, you load it up and uh, yeah. Um, we, we might want to talk about like, this this conversation is kind of like should we go on one or when you say go? But uh, we should figure out exactly when healers should should start casting this spell. Like, they, they, well, it's only the first the first one that has that timer because then after that you're just using it when your timer comes up, right? And then yeah, you can after, cancel cast if the if the tank doesn't need it, and then you do it again. Right. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I worry about the cancel cast. I agree. Do, but do we just let him go through? I think? think you let it go through, but you let it you could. Through. There's a couple other subtleties, like you start with the priest for sure, because they will need to fade right after, because of maybe opening threat. Yep. yep. The thing is, literally anyone on the raid who can cast a heal, like get out of dog to. form and cast a heal, right? Yep, like yep. it's too important to not do. So you might do something weird where you're like move the feral into the lock group and pop tranquility yeah uh, that's not a bad idea right yeah we could do stuff and like uh we can have 
rock mood chain heel the locks yeah right yeah people just yeah like like we'll have those kind of extra abilities available that we're gonna want people to use maybe even like dak heal too right he can he can like pop some heal off absolutely yeah, like everybody uh, yeah. in the ship. right okay okay cool so yeah we want to we want to make sure people are contributing to that then um, um just tame dak you i'd men pet his ass right <laughs> <laughs> um, so we gotta uh so yeah the idea is that all the healers make a macro um and we we make an order um maybe i'll just like kind of put that order together before we get there at some point with just all of our healers i'll just take all the notes i have from twin amps and just combine the groups and uh and just just make some sort of order now do the classes now, does the the order of the classes matter? Like, do we want to have? Do, do we you want, want to priest, have priest first. every other or? Well, you don't want all the all the uh, the druids going in a row because of you. You want to be able to have either oh, inspiration. Yeah, you well, yes, stat. or you want to have either inspiration or ancestral fortitude up as much as you can. Right. And so for the extra armor. Right. Okay. For the extra armor. Right. Okay. You probably want your priest with eight piece tier two to put it on. Yes. So one of the things you're going to struggle with is some of the big heal will be overheal. And you can convert some of that overheal out of your AQ bonus healing garbage into uh, the real heal. Over time. Yeah. Mm. So okay. I think anybody that has eight piece should wear it and you should stagger them. Likewise, you should stagger your uh, shaman with the goofy trinket of I shield you a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, right. So we'll probably do something like um, a druid every third, then? 15 yeah. seconds on Stagrid. average? So, like, well, so I, like, we could just do pre-shaman, druid, pre-shaman, druid, honestly. Um, the priest stuff will fall off, right? But only for a few seconds. Um. Yeah, I I mean we don't have the same amount of priests and druids and shamans, so we, but but we can try to do something like that. I think, and uh and but but I understand the goal now. To, the goal is to have as much like extra hot and extra buff uptime as possible, and make sure that you're not they're not stomping on each other. Um, okay. The druids healing touch or regrowth. I think regrowth might be better. Because it's that initial hit that's a lot, and then also the hot. I think, yeah, like I, I would. And if we need to, and if we it. need to, like squeeze another, like lessen the time between the druid heal and the next person's heal, we can do that. Like if if the druid's throwing a hot, but then he needs another big heal to land, like three seconds after, then that's, that's not, not necessarily the end of the world. I don't think. I, I, do you I, reserve? I, I, an insta cast great big healing touch for oops crushing blow is going to kill our tank i think so that may even be like a dacial thing if he sees the tank is low or not getting popped off then he top jumps out and throws his biggest heal right wait okay so oh, so i have that though he doesn't have instant cast but he'll have the ability to do it at least yeah but it'll be too late probably it'll be way too late yeah so so really i, I yeah the key to this fight is uh i, I the dps get to have fun i think that the, really the key this is, is the greatest fight ever yeah, for dps it's, it's just it's just locking down coordination between the healers make sure they understand to bring in stuff like trinkets and whatever else can temporarily make their plus healing crazy like bring in pop all that put everything they got into one heal as long as all of our healers understand that concept and we have them staggered in a um at least semi like intelligent way i think uh i i think that's going to be the tricky part right but like once we get that part consistent where we're not a single because it only i mean i don't know how much damage he does but i i it might only take like a single uh healer he doesn't for the tank to go he down. doesn't hit super hard but he does hit okay. hard enough that yeah. more than like seven or eight seconds between heals, you're probably dead. Yeah. So, 
probably eight or nine healers at minimum, but we almost always have more than that. So I think we'll be okay. Um, all right, I guess we, oh wait, actually let's look at the, the timers real quick. Um, I'll bring that back up. All right, so, um, right, so so before we even engage, we, we pre-pot a greater shadow of protection. And then the first one goes off at two minutes, 10 seconds. When, is when it will, will it erupt. Yeah, that, that, that's when the erupt happens where you take a bunch of shadow damage. Hold on one sec. Sorry. So, so yeah, go ahead. The, the first one lands l roughly 90 seconds into the fight, right? Or it, oh. it, it hit like it it gets cast and then it takes a little bit for it to interrupt. So the first one eats the entirety of the first one of the first shadow uh, of the first impending doom. And then the second one eats the entirety of the second one. So the first two are basically completely canceled by pre potting and using shadow protection pot on cooldown. And then you just okay, sort of let yeah. the third one hit you. Right. And then, and then the, the third one, you, you just get hit and bandage up and then, uh the fourth one yeah we either have hellstones or yeah whipper yeah, tubers whipper tubers nice um and if we if we get to 410 we'll pop a third greater shadow protection um, and that's this is where after that what is it 425 525 you're dead if he, if he's not dead because there's nothing oh, that's yeah. going to save you dead. yeah right and then he starts doing it every 15 seconds and yeah that's just a mess okay so so two GSPPs, like a uh, minimum guaranteed. You're yeah, going to use two every time. Guaranteed every time we do this. Um, okay, so yeah, that's more than likely. Now we know three. why, right? Yeah, because of the, that huge amount of damage and the um, yeah. Then I I kind of wonder, like once once we get you know our mages and our warriors, like with that with the buff. I mean, they're just like they're gonna go in. They're gonna do a lot of damage, I think. I so I'm I'm kind of interested to see how far we get. Um, Sal, do, do you remember from back in the day if if killing it before the five minutes was was really tough or not? Yeah, it was tough. We went it was, it was, like when we wiped, we would you know do a couple of encounters and then not win because we lack the damage to do it. Then we went to go get world buffs, came back in and killed them. I think that maybe in classic it's a different beast. Yeah, because you got to you also oh, have to remember sure. in in vanilla DPS warriors weren't a thing. Like really, they yeah. kind of started to be <laughs> indexed, yeah. but not really, not where where we are now. And like the fifty percent crit basically turns warriors into you have recklessness up for the entire fight, but with no threat problem. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the dream for warriors. So oh. like. 2k threat or damage per second probably gonna happen without any world buffs pretty easily okay. and that wasn't a thing in vanilla 2k was unheard of the ignite will be bonkers oh the ignite's gonna be oh, yeah, it's gonna be substantial I think. and and whichever mage gets the ignite <laughs> had better not miss a spore or they are instantly dead so yeah something else to think about on that is um that opening ignite i see i don't i didn't play mage so i don't know how this works but can't they when when they get their spore like let's say mages go get the first five can't they pick who's putting the ignite up and with which spell and yes, like popping which cooldowns and don't those things linger i feel like it yes, it's yes. either the case that it doesn't update or it lingers so they could have like some temporary, totally so i think we want i think we want to choose that Probably. And I'll let the mages yeah. do it because like Spaz has yeah. a pretty good idea of who's best suited for that. Yeah, yes, yeah, Spaz, uh, Spaz does that on um on Oro too. Yes. So he controls the ignite to make yeah. sure he gets it on Oro. Yeah, so and so he can do that like, here. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go run into this guy so we can just yeah. have this. So I don't think this is gonna be You'll see you'll see very quickly the debuff is different. Okay. It's not a you can't cast heals. It's a healing is reduced by fifty percent debuff or something like that. Oh, there it is. Oh wait, no. No, that's that's that's, that's basically the poison. 
Right. That's the poison that happens in, in within there five it is. yards. Healing effects reduced by 100%. So it's not that you can't heal every... It, it's it's not that you can only cast a heal every six seconds. It's that... Uh, it's, it's, this is more like... like Is this more like makes now where you have to like load up a bunch of heals before the debuff goes off? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, well, that's fine. And so here, the spores are also not spawning from the green, which they should. They're spawning from the over here, and the debuff only lasts, or it lasts two minutes. Wait, I didn't get anything there. You have to be on top of them when they die. That's the other thing. Oh, right. You literally oh, have to be standing right. on it's them. Not, it's not a cloud you run into. That's what I was nope. imagining. No, you have to be right on it when it dies. That's, yep. a, that's an important note. Okay. All right, let me and these right on these guy. ones are they're spawning in different places. There you go. Okay, critical chance increased by yeah, right. Okay. Um, See, these ones are spawning in different places throughout the room. That's not the case in classic. They pick a, unless they, we get a weird version, we might. Yeah, you never know. But they're supposed to pick a a grate, and that's where they spawn. Okay. Wait, so... Wait, is, so yeah. Oh, the, this, does he even do the big shadow damage? It's on last? right now. Inevitable doom right now. I have it. It's about to expire. I just resisted it. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't get it at all. You had it. It You just resisted it oh. as well. I oh, saw I it on yours. It. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. It yeah. should pop again here in a second. Okay, yeah. We'll just watch it pop again real quick, but... There it is. This, oh, okay. Inevitable, Inevitable doom. Yeah. I remember yeah. from vanilla there being moments where there was more than one spore up, so like they don't they don't just spawn once. Um, you need to be all about your business and go get your spore with your group. Yes. Everybody like into the pile and then pop it and then get out of there. Correct. So it's they spawn every I think fifteen seconds. Um, which is why only seven groups can get it because the the last one, which would go to group eight, needs to be needs to refresh group ones. Okay. So you have to get get to it, kill it, and get out of the way before the next one spawns. Right. Basically. Right. Yeah. The the like the groups have to be on point when it's their turn. Yep. Um. Because you have 15 I'll, seconds to get I'll to probably, it on melee, yeah. on top of it, I'll, kill yeah. it, and then move. At, at first, like one of us, either me or Seymour, should just like I think we should be pretty handholdy on that and just call when it's each each group's turn until people get really like a feel like of of how it's going down. Um, if you have really responsible players who can watch for the five people to be close enough. Um, you could just say they're the ones that kill it. Oh, my pets are killing it. I can't stop them. <laughs> That's good to know. Oh, my pet. Oh, they actually don't do that much damage. I don't know why they decided. Oh, it's because I got hit. I didn't resist the uh, impending doom. And so my imps turned and k tried to kill Lothab. <laughs> you did it. We're the best. Oh, a tear token. Uh, Get I it. also got the same tier token for you. Ooh, a crystal. So that's shoulders. cool. <laughs> All right. Here, you want you want another pair? Because I can't use them. Yes, please. Why can't I trade it? There it goes. Do I already have it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I have, have a two second pair. <laughs> pads. Okay. All right. So hey, that's that's Lothib. Um, so yeah, like we were saying before, as long as we get the healing, the healing rotation tight, our DPS are just going to be able to go wild on this and it'll be, it'll be great. Um, yeah, I didn't mention this in the, uh, in the makes the video, but after you finish a wing, there's these portals that we can click on that, that take us back to the entrance. And if we look outside of the wing now, the light, they'll, you'll see the light up and that means that the wing is finished. So we'll see that we have the light on this wing and this one over here for spider wing that I did earlier this morning. And then when all four light up, then you can go up here to this uh, blue portal. And this is how you get to Saffron's layer, correct? After they're all lit up? That's oh, Saf no, you, oh, you click this orb maybe? Well, uh, that's right now you do because you don't have to kill all the wing bosses. We can go to Saf right now. Huh? Cool. Okay. But, but that's that's not a thing. But in, in real actual... life, 
You can't do yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, cool. Did so, you yeah. already kill our friend here? I don't uh, see him. He's still up. I never I never took a shot at, at Biggles. I saw him walking around. He's right here. Oh, he's killing maggots. <laughs> okay. So I want to do... Um, so I did six bosses today. So tomorrow I was thinking of doing um, the whole construct quarter and the first two bosses of military. Um, Resuvius and... What's his face? Um, Bluff. Or no, uh, Gothic. Gothic, thank you. And uh, no, wait. Yeah, no, Resuvius. Yeah, Gothic. Yeah, and then and then that'll leave for either maybe maybe not even Thursday. Maybe that's that's something you could do like on Friday or morning or instead gets off day. But then like have one where it's the the last three bosses, which will might be a little take a little bit longer, right? Four Horsemen, Saffron, and, and Kel'Thuzad. Um, and then we could and. Yeah, so I know a lot of people like to cram too. So just doing it in the few days before, um, for some people I know is nice. Like I, I try to like get a general overview beforehand, and then when I do this, go like really in depth on like trash and stuff. Um, but we learned a lot about uh, we learned a lot about Lotheb and the whole the whole play quarter. What what order do you think we're gonna do? Um, the at, well, after after spider, I mean. Uh, so construct or or plague. Plague is the easier first two, but the harder last boss. Uh, construct yeah. construct is a lot more trash okay. heavy. The first part of construct is super trash heavy. Um, that's after arachnid is where we might want to consider picking and choosing bosses. Um, and not necessarily clearing whole wings. Maybe, yeah, maybe after Arachnid, we could run in and just kill Noth really easily. Because Noth and Hagen will fall over. Maybe even like, those maybe won't even be Hagen those too, won't yeah. be hard. Yeah, unless unless the, we have some some unfortunate dancing incidents. But even then, know. like we can probably ten man Hagen. <laughs> like, yeah. It's oh yeah, probably yeah, doable. We should, think, we should think about bosses we can do with yeah with that. Uh, I posted that in Officer. I posted like seven bosses that I think oh. we can do with under forty. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, I'll I'll probably do um uh again, don't feel obligated in any way. Uh I'll probably do the next bosses tomorrow morning, probably around 9ish my time or I probably will still be asleep. <laughs> All right. Um uh maybe maybe I'll get special guest spot or uh I don't know. We'll see more said you wanted to do it, but Oh yeah. We'll see. Yeah, maybe you can see more for those. I, I, I don't even know if I'll start right at nine. We can we can talk and I'll just I'll let you guys know when I when I start it. But I wanna I'll probably do like those six all in a row tomorrow. Um I just didn't don't want to do any more because I don't wanna murder my boys before That's we, fair. We, we have to do AQ forty tonight still. 